Hello and welcome to episode 26 of The Spirit Engine 2. I'm bringing Stabity, the Stabby Stabity that ever stabity and with me I have... And Weissmuller, who's looking forward to this turning into a science fiction game. Yes, as you can tell, our background is a uh, little different compared to usual. So, let's grab our save from the end of episode 25 and continue on through the habitation level. Very science fiction. I like the uh, swirly patterns you can see on the walls and the multicolored lighting. It's just vaguely unsettling. Yeah, there's like little uh, hieroglyphs getting behind the RGB. Anyway, we've got uh, some interesting ones. I'm thinking this guy is going to shock me if I touch him. No, he doesn't. I still think he will, but nothing here mentions that he will. Uh, and let's see. Definitely going to stick to piercing damage on him. How about this guy? I yeah, probably worth uh, the damage piercing. Jester. Magical damage won't do shit against him. Yep. And his dodge is annoying as sin. 70% dodge. That's quite a pain. Yeah, I figured let's just, uh... Martyrfish. Martyrfish. So, you, know, you know what his name is. S uh, Stephen? Jesus. Oh, well, that's, uh... I wouldn't, wouldn't exactly classify it as a martyr, because he wasn't martyred for his faith. But he did give his life for, uh religious purposes so that's true you had best uh, damn the front guy yep gonna go and with as you can tell there's a low ceiling here so yep that's right enclosed space high fire and sword faith are unavailable so i guess we're just gonna stick to the usual no uh summoning uh divine wrath from the heavens uh from furwin Although uh, Mauritius can summon divine wrath from his from the palm of his hand, so there is that. Anyway, let's go do aim shot slay, dam, and let's see if Furwin is going to get himself shocked. Was well, that a yes? That was a yes. Very good. Well, no, it fired uh, two lightning bolts. Oh, it fired two lightning bolts at him. Okay. Dealing magical damage, which may mean... Uh, Mauritius, Mauritius isn't Mauritius the best isn't... guy in front. And maybe he should start healing, since Perwin's uh, already damaged. Yep. So I guess let's toss Grace out front. Mauritius can heal, since this guy does resist magical a little bit. Hey, not bad. Okay. Now we damn this one. Definitely and, uh, worth the dam, and stick with uh, aimed shot and slay. And hope they actually hit because Jesus. And you see that yep. did uh, some absolute damage. It does random damage types. Sometimes it's absolute, which means that it goes right through all resistances and chi. Wonderful. See white damage. That's absolute. Yep. And heal and, rather than damn. And he dodged and heal. Yes. And we're probably not going to kill him before... Oh, what was that color? That I am actually not sure of. Oh. We got those guys killed. Misguiding light. <laughs> okay. Well, definitely got to get rid of that so we're not uh, led down the wrong path. What I would suggest here, given the presence of the misguiding light, is to damn the light and uh, do lucky shot while Furwin works on chopping up the front guy. Okay. Or uh, actually Thunderstrike, because take a look at its uh, resistances, the front guy, the sunken slave. Yeah. Okay, Thunderstrike it is. The leftover stuff won't be particularly helpful, but let's go Thunderstrike. Against this guy, I mean, because it'll be hitting the Chi. Uh, anyway, 
Let's go, uh... Lucky shot. You should replace uh, high fire instead of explosive shell. With That's right, because we can't high fire here. So we well, gotta... Collect lucky shot now. Jeez. This skill thing is mildly annoying. Okay, I think that's good for now. Let's go. Trust me, it's better than when you couldn't swap them out in the Spirit Engine 1. Yeah. And then you can damn the front one, I guess. I believe you there. Uh, Mauritius, you can tank that. Is that magical? It sure looks magical to me. Sure does. Grace? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. That... Hey, good dodge. Uh, and now uh, we should have uh, Mauritius start healing and Furwin in front. Yep. That looks like a plan. Go. Doing some good work. Explosives. Lucky shot. Let's keep going. 521. Oh, look. This punk and slave is having its health decay. Oh. Is this guy absorbing it? Uh, this guy is starting to change color. He sure is. His health is not uh, changing, so it's not... Nope. Oh, that health stopped going down, it looks like. No, it's not. It's still decaying. Okay. So, they're like vampires. They're... Yep. Uh, 688. With this weird... Aquamarine color, maybe? I have literally only ever seen that Aquamarine that I can remember fighting... Uh... <laughs> gestures, so I have no freaking clue what it is. Okay, whatever. Well, maybe it's some, uh, some fourth damage, or sixth damage type, because we've got the three uh, the three regular types. Piercing Concussive Magical, plus Ethereal, plus Typeless. One, two, three, four, five. And I guess just a sixth one that got programmed in and dummied out, but the jester can sometimes do it. Okay, yeah. you're, st you're still on heal, you're still on Thunderstrike, you're still on Lucky Shot. Oh, uh, that's you... what it's doing. It uh, launches itself to detonate with massive force eventually, if it's not. And now we do aim shot and slay and damn, because. Yep. To get rid of those resistances, and once we damn, we switch to Wrath. No, you don't switch to Wrath. Switch because... to. Because we kill it. Also because uh, it's completely immune to magic. Oh, that's right. It looks like we weren't the first people to find these ruins. From their robes, these two poor souls appear to have been priests. And it almost looks like they died strangling each other? Poor unfortunate souls. Ambassador's ring. Oh, has it played this music every time we opened a chest? Yes. Wow. I literally just noticed that. Credit filled the chest. Uh, well, let's check what the toys we got were. Let's inventory. Oh my, we've got a rather full inventory. Okay. Robes of state. Let's see. Whoops. I don't know of minor party heal. Yeah, this one. Vortex challenge, special recharge chi. Yeah, that's the one we had. Okay, no more misclicking. Priest's hand. Recharge chi. Chi plus 250. Heal plus 20. Blessing plus 4. Aurora plus 25. I think having Mauritius equip it is probably uh, a smart good. idea. Let's see, that's just a generic magical. Chi recharge. Chi plus 80. Yeah. We're just going to replace Ring of Deflection. I guess we well, can't. Yeah, because we're... There. There we go. That was somewhat annoying. Let's compare the Robes of State to... Uh... Piercing, Concussive, Magical, Flashbang, Smoke Screen, Heal, Blessing. 
Mm. More resistance. I... But that's all it really does. And the heal bonus. And a heal bonus, yeah. Well, let's take a look at the scripture compared to the current scripture. Redemption verse. Magical, minus 35. Ethereal, minus 10%. Health, plus 100. Concussive bonus and magical bonus. Piercing, concussive, magical. Health, 110. Heal, 35. Ah. Uh, I'm thinking Foro's philosophy is probably better. Let's take a look at the new, the other new ring. Master's ring. Special self-heal. Recover plus 40. Heal plus 25. Potentially good for Furwin. And definitely not replacing that one, though. Leech and not replacing that one either. No, I think that's... Uh, what, what rings does Grace have? And a strength. Piercing and concussive bonus. Health plus 380. Uh have look over at Mauritius let's see. you know I might be tempted to replace his magic protection ring with the ambassador's ring special self heal yeah because he does have a self heal problem and it does give a bonus to heal and that's yep. minus 48 minus 4 yeah that's worth it All right. clear sky that we already uh, disqualified. Okay, yep. Night Star, Talisman, that's an older one, right? Or is that something we could That's have? older. Uh, okay. The only thing I'd consider is maybe swapping to Robes of State just because of the heal bonus, but you might like the Summon Sprite and the bonus chi. Yeah. Not... Well, it does give more defense and better healing. Yeah, sure. Let's do Robes of State. Why not? Okay, well, that was a, uh, valuable a upgrade. Sunken Whoa. Sl hmm? This is going to be uh, easy to deal with the front parts. Yeah, definitely with the front parts. With the undead. I'd say Explosive Wish Shell and uh, Thunder Strike to start with because yep. they're. Wish we could do Sword Faith. Right. And damn the front, and then yep. damn the middle. Damn the middle, then damn the back, then damn the torpedoes. And full steam ahead. Oh. Let's fix that. And damn the back. And of course he dodged. Grace, you get to go out front for a second. And now heals, I think? Yeah, I think so. Heals, although honestly, Mauritius, get out front and tank these attacks. Good job. Yeah. Grace, you his get to chi, go back front. His chi was helping. Yes, yes it was. Alright. Haha, <laughs> good job. Well, I don't think this one's going to last very long. I don't think so either. So now we need to do uh, the, the usual aim sh shot and slay because... Aim shot, slay, no wrath because that thing is fully res resisting magical. Already been damned, that thing can stick around. Yep. That guy's dead, let's just... Ah, and he's back. There we go. But we gained a level. Yes, we did. So, Mauritius, skills. Uh, let's... Chosen. Chosen. Erwin, recover. Grace. Unless you want to de-invest from recover with him at this point. Uh, that's honestly a possibility because we have not been using it. At we have all. plenty of refund points, so we could use that to improve Thunder Strike and Sword Faith. Yeah. All right. Why not? Hmm. Should I bother with Sword Faith at the moment? Uh, yeah. Just invest in it. You'll have okay. it for later, and you know. 
Very good. And uh, Grace. Oh, we already spent it. That's right. Well, there we go. There we go. Everybody leveled up. Another misguiding light. Uh, you... So. So, explosive, thunder strike, damn. Uh, sequentially, or should no? I should probably be doing lucky shot. Uh, damn the misguiding light first to uh, maximize the chance that you actually kill it before it blows. Yep. All right. Move the damn to the front. Tank that. Uh, maybe wrath. Now. Sure, for a little bit. Uh, what was it immune to? What was what immune to? Uh, the guy in... F oh, maybe it was the Jester. That got immune to, uh, to summon... To Lucky Shot. That's probably what it was. I, I believe that's it, yes. Okay, well, let's... Keep this going. Precious. Well, that's a lot of concussive damage. That is a but ton. Of is, uh, she uh, absorbed it, so. Yeah. Lucky me. I think uh, you should damn the jester and then start healing. Sounds like a plan. Yep. Damn the jester. Also, change attacks for the other two because. Yeah. Uh, yeah, aim, shot, and slay. Grace. Damn. And heal. Or not. Or we can just win. Winning works. I'll take winning. Yeah. Oh, there we go. End of this corridor. That was the habitation level. Now we go to the Adjanti Heart Room. We need to I, stop and... Hmm? I haven't a quite like the music for this area. It is very nice. We need to stop and get our bearings. This place is a maze, and the readings from my compass make no sense. I'm not sure where we are anymore. Oh, what do you mean it's a maze? It's a straight line! I think we can assume it's more complex than we're going through in the deliberately abstracted gameplay. <laughs> I'll tell you where we are. We're lost. This is all your fault. You checked downstream, like I said. We could have found a ford and been across the river by now. Or we could still be walking up and down the banks, wasting precious time. Did you hit your head when you landed? I know what I'm doing here. Just give me a minute. Grace being crankier than usual. Yeah. No. No more time. Who put you in charge, anyway? This isn't the army. And we don't have to follow your orders. You're completely lost. Just swallow your pride and admit it, you stupid woman. Yes, we're lost, but at least we're lost halfway across the river. If you think you can do any better with this spinning compass, you're welcome, Mauritius. In fact, if you could do anything other than wind back there, I would be supremely grateful. Never before had I met such a miserable, irritating little man. No wonder the Great Library threw you out. Ooh, shots fired! Grace, Mauritius, what are you doing? I... I don't know. I suddenly felt so angry. This isn't like me at all. I'm so sorry, Mauritius. I don't even know why I said that. No apology needed. I have this splitting headache, as though something outside is trying to force its way in, gnawing at the back of my skull. It's getting hard to think straight in here. Well, you know, double check that you don't have like a little uh, parasite on the back of your head that's literally trying to crawl in. Something about these ruins and the science that built them is very wrong. You can smell it in the foul gusts that billow up from the mists below. This whole place reeks of decay. Perhaps the stale air is affecting us. I'm sorry, both of you. I think Mauritius's fears may have been justified. We need to fi find a way out of here quickly, before the fumes overcome us. And we already found a pair of priests that apparently died strangling each other. Something weird's going on here. Yep. Well, that definitely fits the definition of weird. 
And as you notice, this is no longer an enclosed space. It is not, so good thing we put those points into high fire. And let's see what the hell that thing is. That is a void blinker. And it has good resists. It has good resists to everything, so that is definitely getting damned. And that also, is... this uh, combat music is great. This is one of my favorite combat tracks in the game. It is nice. I like it. Okay, Avatar Athaloth. Unless that's supposed to be a mix of English and Spanish, in which case it would be Athayoth. Uh, Ay caramba. <laughs> Ay caramba, man. Okay, that has decently good resists. Definitely not doing the magical. Definitely worth a damn, though. So, damn out front. Stick with uh, piercing. Stick with piercing. Slay an aimed shot. You I will probably go magical. This one you can blow through with magical. On the other hand, its magical resist is high enough, and we do enough damage with the uh, aim shot and slay, we may be able to burn down its uh, chi pretty well. Because yeah, oh well. Let's just dam the front, dam the back. Stick with aim shot and slay out front. Oh! Oh! Oh my! What happened there? Oh no! You stay out. Okay. So the Void Blinker uh, teleports to attack and can... Yes, it does. I think you should heal. Yes, I think so too. Let's heal. Uh, we got this guy out front, so let's go Sword Faith, Lucky Shot. Lucky Shot. Yeah, it's only minus 38. Oh, but it's... Darn. 36. Um, what I'd do is do Sword Faith and uh, High Fire and target the back. Okay, and Take sure. out that guy, and then you can Can't. just work, focus on burning down the front guy with uh, maximum damage. Okay, sure. Well, let's go uh, High Fire. Gonna have to pause you, and then just wait for somebody to... And target the correct one. Well, Sword Faith is going to go to whoever I target. Right, and High Fire. Right. I'm saying tiger, target the Void Blinker rather than the... Uh... Darn. So close. Do Thunder I... Strike. What? Thunder Strike. Thunder Strike it is. Go. Oh, and you keep healing. You shouldn't have been paused. Oh, well. Yay. Uh, now just aimed and slay, and uh, you'll burn through that chi pretty quick. Sure. And why not toss in a wrath, do a little bit of damage on his HP while we wait. They're decently high enough. Oh yeah, look at that. Burn through his chi already. Oh. I think uh, damage to chi isn't as affected by resists, so... Ah. That would make sense. Anyway, let's go kill him. There we go. Victory achieved! Oh, oh Grace, Grace has something. something to say. The lingering magical energy of these brain-like creatures seems to feed on the target's own energy. If we keep our energy low, their effect will be drastically reduced. So don't supercharge your attacks while fighting these Avatar Athaloths. Makes sense. Well, this well, is definitely... I think I, I think I see what's been throwing off... Uh, her compass. <laughs> yeah. Gratungak Vistari, Dufungak Ajanti. Okay, and now we're in not Germany. Good God, what is that thing, Grace? Is it alive? I don't know, Furwin. The light is coming from the machine. Whatever it is, I think it's trying to speak. Oh, it's a hologram. I thought it was a ghost. Your lung had shoot unfamiliar, yes. Il rafuk off. Perhaps it's a message. The rhythm sounds natural and the words are eerily familiar, but I still can't understand it. Well, you know, we cut little bits of there about your language is unfamiliar. Success. I converse with you, yes? Adaptation was required, but I learned fast. Your dialect is not too far descended. 
the sight of your faces fills me with what can only be described as joy. I am Darek, pilot light of the Ajanti. It is alive, and it can talk. You may be the first humans it's ever seen. It's a pleasure to meet you, Darak. What a monumental discovery. Life preserved inside an altar relic? There are so many questions I can ask. Are you native to these ruins? What is your purpose here? How did you come to be entombed within this great structure? You have questions for me? I, I don't understand. You have come in from the outside after all these years. The question should be mine. What is the meaning of this word, alder? Alder? It's the term we use for the creatures who inhabited Medea long ago, who built this and other such great structures. The creatures who created you. The Rakari? No. Oh, is this a test of my cognitive functions? The Ajanti is a ship, and it was built by human hands. The same hands you hold before me now. If you call this alder, then yes. You are Alder. <laughs> no, spirit, you're mistaken. The construction of this place is far beyond the limits of human science, and perhaps always will be. No man could have built such a machine. Well, we are learning quite a lot about this place. Honestly, more questions right now. But, yes. You believe that, don't you? There's such a dreadful emptiness in your gaze. What has happened outside in the years I have been trapped here? For all the madness I have seen and all the silence I have endured, I still know a human face, but yours are blank. Someone or something terrible has taken your past and denied you your future. What have you become? I don't know. If history makes a man, are we not the people we should be? Please, Darek, start from the beginning and tell us how you came to be here. I will try. I have been alone for so long, with only the creature and its minions for company, that I fear I have begun to forget. My circuits have been slowly rusting and decaying as the river has risen through the ship. Perhaps I am the one in error. It would be a cruel twist of fate if the one mind the creature could not touch had been eroded by the mere lonely passing of the years. But I still remember before the storm. Mankind had entered a new age of prosperity, but still the many nations of Medea fought for power, wielding economics and culture as their weapons. Then one winter, astronomers saw doom in the lenses of their great telescopes. A cosmic tempest approached Medea from the depths of space, a vast stellar furnace falling towards our world. It could not be stopped. It could not be fled from in the little time we had. And so there was much panic, much fear, and much lamentation. It was only then that the people truly came together, united by a common fate. There was lamentation, but was there rending of garments? Um, well, all I know is that their enemies were crushed and were driven before them. Okay, fair enough. Such was the awesome cap capability of all humanity focused on a single goal, that no task was beyond them. They set about the salvation of Medea in earnest. They constructed a great machine, the World Eye, with the power to shape reality by command. It was the pinnacle of our technological achievement and the ultimate realization of our potential. Uh -oh. And this is the machine that uh, Batiste is after, the World Eye, which is not this reactor. You can see it's a different. Yep. It's the thing in the little, uh, little oh, circle well. pop-up next to the reactor. Yep. Yes. Okay. The world eye became a mechanical extension of human mankind's will. Around itself, it built this great shell upon which we sit, and humanity made the great exodus and their billions to safety beneath its surface. There they would shelter entire nations slumbering peacefully together, stacked in their millions whilst the storm raged against the shield above them. A carefully chosen few of us remained outside, caretakers who would watch over the machine see repairs to the shell and wake the others 18 generations later when the storm had passed. At first all was well, the storm bathed the Medea in an incandescent tapestry of fire and we hid from it on the dark side, probing with our instruments and marveling at its power and its fury. It was some months before we came to realize that the storm was not empty. It brought life down upon us, refugees from the vast abyss of space and the worlds it had broken millennia before. We caught this creature that calls itself Ikthelath. 
in the midst of its powerful thrashings, caged it within the Ajanti's hold. As we took it away for further study, we thought it was confined. We were wrong. Did they awaken, uh, or not awaken, capture an old one? I mean, the name Ichthaloth kind of sounds vaguely Cthulhu-ish. Oh, they captured something bad. <laughs> it attacked the crew's minds as it has begun to do with you. It drove them crazy. The helmsman ran the planes down, and all the efforts of the staff could not tear him from the wheel. So crazed was his fury, the ship broke against the ground. Stranded beneath the storm, the crew turned against each other. I could only look on in despair as once great men and women fought amongst themselves like wild animals. And you saw the uh, collar of what that guy was wearing in the thing, the crew uniform, uh, matched the robes of state that we salvaged. Oh, interesting. So that is an ancient uh, ship uniform. <laughs> How fitting. When it ended, I was left alone with only this monster for company, thrashing against its chains and calling out to me from its prison. It cannot touch my mind, and that has driven it mad with rage. I am an artificial construct formed from electric light, and the supervision of this ship and its crew is my only purpose. From electric light? I don't like that. <laughs> Sometime after the crash, Medea itself went into convulsion. The rolled eye broke its sh the shell, heaving it skywards in all directions, that is, as if grasping in vain at something it could not touch. I could do nothing but watch and record. Wow. Many below must have perished as their sleeping places were open to the storm. Whole nations must have fled away into the eternal emptiness of space. And all was silent. Long have been my years in confinement, listening to the mad song of the beast and tormenting myself with questions. Questions I could spend eternity asking, but never hear answered. I feared corruption would take me long before the Ajanti's heartbeat faded, and I was extinguished. When no one came to find me, I assumed the worst. I feared that other creatures like Ichthaloth had fallen from the stars and enslaved the minds of men. He's not wrong. But now that I see you here, I know that my worst fears were unfounded. Mankind has survived the cataclysm, and despite all that you've lost, you remain free men. Dot, dot, dot. Freedom is relative, Darak, with so many measurements. Until recently, Lareftain has been free from war and poverty. If the Rakari who govern us are as alien as the creature you describe, what they have given us could be considered a gift. A golden cage is still a cage. Before now, I thought that liberty was a price worth paying for peace. Suddenly, I don't feel so eager to defend it. Maybe we were never really given a choice. Much more has happened outside than I had imagined. I must leave the ship. I must see what these creatures have done for myself. We would be happy to help you, Darak. What can we do? Please remove my source cube from the Ajanti's heart and take it with you. I will not survive long outside the ship, but I have been here so many years, alone and blind. I will happily trade an eternity of that for a few brief days of voices and sunlight. But before we leave, I must make a demand of you. In the many years the Ajanti has lain in this river, Ichthalof has twisted the creatures here to its service. You have already encountered them. After killing the crew in a sadistic rage, the monster realized it still could not free itself from its chains, and so it began to breathe the river life into its twisted slaves. The generations gave them limbs and claws and a limited intellect. In return, the creatures have spent the last thousand years throwing themselves against the great containment door, scraping their scales against steel. Yeah, sorry, I accidentally clicked continue there. But I already had the end, so... Good thing. It they have almost succeeded in breaking it down, and soon they will be able to free Ichthaloth from its shackles. That cannot be allowed to happen. You must slay the alien abomination, and quickly, before you two succumb to its persuasion, take me to the bridge where I can restore power to the containment block and open the doors. Then we will return and put it to death. It cannot be allowed to leave this ship. 
freed from its constraints and let loose into your world, there could be no stopping it. You have a deal, Darek. If the creature is as dangerous as you say, we can't afford to let it escape. Well, we now know who the boss is going to be of this chapter. I don't know about this, Grace. I've had this thing inside my head for long enough already. I think we should leave. The beast can surely wait a little longer for its death. We can't just run away if all their technology couldn't save the crew of this ship. What chance would our world stand? You saw what the Cloud Children did to Porto Vale. This thing sounds a hundred times worse. Your friend is wise. The creature feeds upon indecision. When you face it, you must do so free of inner doubt. It will try to break you before that, so we must hurry. Take me now to the bridge so we can access the power subsystems. It's the only way to get close enough to the monster to kill it. I will be your pilot light from now on, your guide through these sunken corridors. The Ajanti is a dying husk, and my friends have long since left it. I too must follow them. Oh, let's leave. Oh, look! There's the guiding light in front of us. However... Do you, yes? you like how I did his... Uh, intonation is just not really sounding natural yep uh, i was viewing him as having good ai but the language uh, uh the natural language expression just isn't great yep well anyway uh we are on episode 26 so we save on slot 8 and that's it for this episode uh yeah we uh we discovered quite a bit about the uh, past of this world. Turns out it's not just some generic fantasy land. It is a little different. Anyway, uh, like, follow, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. Check me out on Rumble and Odyssey. And I'll see you guys all in the next episode.